Hey guys, welcome to Crystal Lyles. I know it's been um, radio silence on my end. Uh, I've been working on a big project. Um, we have moved bases. We are no longer in the cliffs. We are in the rocks. So let me show you the base. This is the pen outside. I've just put a really low wall around. It's made of glass. I don't think I've ever built a glass base before. But here it is, glass and metal. Got a nice little walkway to walk over and as you can see I'm working on clearing all the trees out. Show you the inside. kitchen is up here. I went ahead and went with four refrigerators just to kind of try to be a little more organized. And we've got rugs in this place. And I am overheating because I don't have my otter. And we have two dedicated storages. I went ahead and built a tech um gas collector and some tech oil pumps and if you have them those with a dedicated storage back at your base it'll send it all to your dedicated storage so that's where that stuff is coming from it's working out great we've got all of our um, um, preserving bins had to get the reindeer out. Um, this is our trough area along with all my outfits. These are all like this is hide. Um, can't remember what this one is. That's Gilly. Of course the cold. That's what I am uh, going to be wearing around like doing stuff around base. And of course, the scuba. Just that way, I don't have to go and I look through the storage bins. We've got our loadout mannequins and our respawn points. And oh, there's Cutie. And this is our rag tag team of misfits up there. Yeah. Um, I really like the uh, crafting area, the way it's set up. We've got all of our little benches. And I have a new mod. It's Eddie's Lighting, I think. Eddie's Lighting. And they've got, he's got these wall lights. And floor lamps. And ceiling lights and street lights and pathway lights. They don't require power. So you can make it look any way you want without um, having to have 30 generators. We've got our bookshelf and our cryo fridge. And then our um, upgrade station and industrial grinder. We've got our, um, what you call it, charge station. With all our little feather lights and one lantern goat. 
um, back here is our little, little bitty compared to the other one, greenhouse. I've got so many veggies from the other one, it was just too much. And all of our, um, cell terminals and... No, it's not all sorted out yet. I used dynamic gateways because, listen, they're silent. And you can make them any size you want. And this one over here, look how tall it is. <laughs> That's eight walls high. Um, this is our little breeding area. Um, I'll have to figure something out with the Rexes. Because um, I think that's what I'm going to take to the queen fight. This will probably work. Um, it may um, overflow to back over in here in the front. But I think it will be okay. Um, yeah, this is the street lights. Aren't they amazing? I like them. We've got a me door. And a dino door over here. And I just put the fence up mostly to keep anything from just taking off after something and going over the edge. Because it's all water. I don't want anything to drown. This is our basement with our generator. Plenty of room to uh, expand, claustrophobically expand, but I could. We could expand. We've got our UDs back here laying their eggs for the kibble. And four of my favorites on the wyverns. This is our bay window. This is another street light. I'll show y'all in the when it gets dark what it, how good it looks. This is our teleportation area. I may move it back so that'll give us a little more room over here. All of our utility dinos are on this side. And that is pretty much it. What do you think? What's y'all's thoughts? And it's super easy to come in here and just take the thyla. Or whatever I need and then just to park them back up here it makes it so much easier why are we falling over it's that um Argentavis See? Easy. <laughs> of course it didn't work. <laughs> uh, we have a new Baryonyx. I tamed a little bit higher level female. So I bred them and now this one's got even better stats. I named her Priscilla. Uh, yes, I know that's not how you spell the real names, Priscilla, I understand, but we're an arc and things are spelled weirdly. Isn't that right, Priscilla? Say so we like your name. She's pretty good. I had her follow us on the berry. 
and uh, she got quite a few love uh, not on the berry on the um I was on the bassy we went around and uh got some fish meat um we went out here and uh I took her down here and we swam all around and I think I What's that noise? I think we found one piranha, maybe. Oh, is it shooting the, um, are those shooting? They're shooting the, <laughs> it's shooting the, stop. It's shooting the beavers. Why is that beaver so close anyway? We got them all set to high. Why are the beavers over here? I haven't had to steal any of the beaver dam paste. At all because of the Akatina farm. So they've got dams all over the place out here. There's those two there, and then there's two up here on the beach. Um, I'm gonna put a little taming pen out here. Um, selling place I really think of I need it and that's not going to work here because of the oh man plant species oh. I may turn them off I like how they look mostly. So let me know what you guys think of the new base. I really like it. Um, we can make a, if we need the room, we can make a bridge from here over to this one. This could actually be a nice big breeding area or storage for xanotheriums that I have and the dinosuchus. And there is this corner we could come to this island on. That's really a lot bigger. I could do that. From here to there. I wonder if it's the same height. I think that would be better. I don't know. We've got plenty of room right now, though. And, but I don't have the bigger teams out. It's not really necessary. They're not doing anything. I'm not going to breed the dinotheriums or anything like that. So, I don't really think we need the room. So, I've had a blast building this. It took forever um, seemed like to figure out how I wanted the building and um, I didn't want it too boxy I wanted it open so um, in this area I wanted initially I had the 
uh, wyverns over here. And there's room for them all over here. And room to get in and out. But I think I just want this for the breeding area and maybe uh, a little bit of a baby raising area. So yeah, that's the big uh, dime tour. If we want more dedicated storage, we can put them along here. We've got enough. We could actually do a whole wall if we wanted. It's not like I don't have other windows to see out the back. Kind of like it open. So, I haven't gone with any more, like, the dedicated intake, storage intake, uh, where you just touch it and everything goes. To, I don't really want to get that techie. Um, the only reason we have those is because of the... Uh, distance and I don't have uh, the prevent uh, hibernation on I did have it on and it was a little bit laggy and everything seems to run a lot smoother without it on so that's why I turned it off and, um, with the game not preventing the hibernation, the areas that you aren't in, it goes into hibernation and stops. So, I kind of felt like that the oil um, pumps weren't really giving me as much as I thought they should. So, because I have a lot out, and that is already more than what I would get from one trip over there out of all the oil deals. So, um, apparently it's not going into hibernation, or here on this end, it is just... keeping it going like it should I, I don't I don't really know all I know is it's working so I'm super happy about that I think I might work on maybe maybe this one is that where we said here. Right here. Ooh. Uh, right here would be good. Cause this is a little messed up. I don't know. But I just want to give y'all an update see the new base get some feedback leave a comment below if you liked it let me know and until next time I'll see you